Oh, oh, oh. It's your workout for the day? Yeah, for the year. <laughs> there you go, girls. Come on down. Look what I got, girl. It's you. Oh my gosh, Belly. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. It is so good to be here back here at the Repterum. You can see Lori has a bunch more plants that we are continuing to kind of put all over the Repterum. It is just awesome to be back. We had an absolutely amazing adventure. I mean, I tell you what, that was so cool. Just all those things that we were able to do while we were gone was amazing. Do me a favor in the comments. Let me know if you watched the Florida Adventure. What was your favorite part? Or for that matter, I was in Atlanta as well, right? So let me know if you guys really liked it. You may remember that before I left, Lucy was actually in shed. The last trip I made, the exact same thing happened. You can see Lucy is deep in blue right now. Well, sure enough, you can see how absolutely gorgeous she looks right now. She is fresh shed, looking amazing, which means only one thing, that the crew had to do it while I was gone because sure enough, she said just a few days ago, and I got the call from Lori going, Lucy blew up her cage, her shed all over the place. We have no choice but to get her out and to get her all settled in. So let's go ahead and see how that all worked out for them. So of course, everything likes to happen when Brian's not here. I come in today and Lucy decides to shed and literally destroy her cage. I cannot even explain to you how bad that smells. I wish it was smell vision <laughs> So I've enlisted the help of Eric and Bruce. This is our crack tea <laughs> that is going to get Lucy oh, out no. yeah, and clean oh, this cage. No. So um, wish us luck and we're gonna go ahead and try to film this so you can enjoy this spectacular uh, event with us. And also keep in mind that uh, Titan still is in the cage as well. <laughs> I totally forgot. Yeah. I totally yeah. forgot. Yeah. So, yeah. well, you're welcome for the heads up. Uh, Where is he? <laughs> he's in there. Don't worry. You'll find him. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, in we go. Just, just watch out of like jump out real fast. Titan, <laughs> okay. Titan is in the tree. We have located him. So I'll keep an eye. I'll keep an eye for that while you guys. Uh, See what kind of mood she's in here. All right. So we're gonna have. All right. gonna do it or are we just gonna like touch her? <laughs> Alright, look at that. I am so impressed. I am so impressed. She's on the run now, so I don't know about that, but Okay, coming out, coming out. Reminds me of my brown bait, very heavy and smells funny. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna assume it wasn't Mary. We're no, gonna go with that. Me. Okay, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. Well, good job, Lucy. Like, honestly, she couldn't have made that easier. No, so we're happy about that. Good. Yeah. She's so big, I think she's gonna flow the water right over the top. Look at that. Yeah, we might have put too much in there, but maybe not. No, no. Hopefully not. That is a heavy snake. It is a heavy snake. Oh Good. Good job, guys. Good. <laughs> got to poop yeah, that I'm not gonna lie. I think that's gonna be a bigger job. <laughs> that, that was the easy part. <laughs> because uh oh lord, that is uh Oh man. That is special. And then Titan is still up here, so that's good. I think that uh, we're doing good. These guys got it under control. Well, Eric and Bruce did a great job getting Lucy out and they got it already cleaned. As you can see, her water is filling back up, which is great. I was trying to film a little bit of that because it was humorous, but me being new at this was not recording. <laughs> I was supposed to be. So I got some great footage of when I set the camera down and was, <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, we'll just wait for her water to fill up and then uh, we'll have those guys put Lucy back. So far, Titan has stayed up in his tree, which is awesome. So yeah, this has really been going really good. That is just a beautiful <laughs> animal though. Look at yes, that. Yes, she is. She is so Look at pretty. That girl. Nice and clean, just like her cage. Yeah. Hopefully she goes back in just as nice. 
Eric taking the business oh, wow. then. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's your workout for the day? Yeah, for the year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're offering Bruce as the sacrifice. Oh. Yeah. Seems to be <laughs> seems to be going all right so far. There, there she goes. There she goes. Nice. All oh, right. Very nice. All right. So Lucy looks happy. Honestly, I think she's looking around thinking, all right, where can I poop next? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, exactly, just like my dogs. We got that done, thanks to these two right here. Mission accomplished, now to get ready for the rest of the night. All in all, I'd say they did a pretty good job. There's so many animals that I'm so happy to be back. Obviously my girl Perdita, oh my gosh, you are looking gorgeous girl. She must have shed when I was gone too, cause she looks crazy cool. Look at all of those dots on her. Oh my gosh, she's just continued to get more and more. Of course, we've got Bella, we've got our alligators. I think I'm gonna go ahead and see how Salt and Pepper were doing. Oh my God, look at Salt, oh my God. Definitely gotten bigger and I didn't wanna bore you guys with weighing them in front of you guys. I put her on a scale. She's actually 187 grams. She was 152 grams just before I left. So she added 30 grams after being at Gatorland so much with Savannah and all my friends over there. It's just great to be back with my alligators. And of course, the ones behind me are actually Gatorlands. They'll eventually go back there to live. So it's really cool to have spent as much time as I did there. But ooh, doggy, Salt is looking amazing. I swear to gosh, I wasn't expecting her to look like she had grown so much. Man, am I glad to see her again. <laughs> Pepper is 325 grams. Oh my gosh, Pepper. I think she was 285 grams. And I always say she. I assume that she is a she just because of incubation temperature. But I kind of know that salt is a female because you could actually see their sex organ right through their skin if you shine a light. With Pepper, I just have to kind of guess. In about a year, we'll be able to tell. But nevertheless, Pepper grew a lot too. Ooh, doggy. They are absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited. Lori actually called me me up because I was out and she said you gotta come back and open up this stuff real quick and then she wouldn't tell me what it was but now that I see it I know exactly what it is do you yes I do do you what I do wrong I might be wrong but I'm not go ahead open do you want to tell me what you think I think that these are the Bella plushies Oh my God. So for those of you guys that don't know, we actually had some Bella plushies made. These were literally made on pictures of Bella. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the little oh, Bella so plushies. Cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, they did turn out so oh good. Oh my God, that is cool. See, and it, it has the Reptarium and her name on the It says the Reptarium, Bella. Oh my gosh, look at the boxes and boxes of Bella plushies. Oh my gosh, they are so absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so this is the deal. Uh, do you have any idea how much they're gonna cost? I don't even know how much they're gonna cost. But I don't remember, I gotta look. <laughs> but literally, I will put a link in the description. I'll also announce it on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. You can actually buy a Bella plushie now. That now is so cute. everybody can have Bella. <laughs> everybody can have Bella. Look at the cute little horns on her, the little <laughs> rhino horns. Oh my God, this is awesome. I never thought that we would have our own plushies. Oh, I love it. Now oh, we gotta my. come up with who's next. I know, do, <laughs> do me a favor, in the comments, who else do you want us to do plushies on? Of course, Bella's our first one. You can buy them when you come to the Reptarium. Again, we'll have them online. Uh, I think they'll probably be over at thereptarium.com. I would imagine that's where they're gonna be. Again, I'll put a link in the description. But let me know what other animal you would like us to start doing a plushie on, because we wanna make the second run of these. But oh my God, look at boxes <laughs> and boxes and boxes of Bella's. Oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, I tell, I'm blown away. I am so, so happy. Eric, what is going on, man? Did you oh, miss man. me? Look at Dan, I did miss you. I know I am. Look at Dan. What are you doing today? Oh, doing some feeding today, going right. through here. And yep, I can see know, that. Feeding some critters. Cool stuff. Everything goes so, good when I'm gone. Really good. Really All good. Right, cool. Same old, same old. All right, good, good. Guess what? What? Bah. Bella No Bosties. way! Seriously? <laughs> look at the, that! Look at the tag. Look at that! Shut the front door. 
<laughs> Look at that, dude. This is big time. Awesome Next thing you know, we're gonna have a claw machine up there. <laughs> oh my god, Look a claw machine would be a great idea. We could have all our plushies dude, all of all the plushies our animals. In there? We could have a little claw. I love it. That is very legitimate. I know, right? Wow, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Look at that. Look at Bella. Is that the boxes up front? That's all the boxes. I was up front. wondering yeah, what they exactly. were. Exactly. So we are gonna be bringing Kluberts up maybe today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. One Sounds of the two good. days. So Kluber season is upon us. I'm so happy to be back. Uh, so much to look at, so much to do today. So, oh my God, and I'm so excited about the Bella stuff. So, all right, that I'll catch up cool. with you in a bit. Sounds good. Right, cool, thanks. Time to show Bella her little plushie. Let's see if she likes it. There you go, girls. Come on, Bella. Look what I got, girl. It's you. Oh my gosh, Belly. What's going on? What do you think, girl? Oh my God, it's so freaking cool. I love it. Bella, what do you think, girl? You giving it a little bit of kisses? Oh my gosh, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. You look so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to see you again, sweetheart. You're so beautiful. I know, I know, Bells. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited again. I'll put the link in the description to the Bella plushies, but I think that Bella approved. She came right down and she gave it a nice little lick. She's still trying to figure out what is going on with it. That is absolutely adorable. I am super excited about these little plushies. And again, it is great to be back. I did meet a couple other rhino iguanas on my trip, but there's none that are as amazing as Bella. At least I'm a little bit biased, as you guys know. So Bella, I love you and from now on I'll be able to have little plushies of you that I can keep all day long. He is just such an amazing, amazing animal. Originally we were thinking maybe to bring colubrids out of hibernation today because there's no doubt that a lot of them are kind of starting to cruise around. They are definitely waking up. The temperatures are starting to climb here so it's about time to bring them out of hibernation. But we're actually going to do it tomorrow. So all of these animals are about to come out to hibernation. Like I mentioned, things are going to start heating up. The day-to-day -day grind of feeding, breeding, egg laying, egg hatching, all that type of stuff. We finally are there. So for those of you guys that have been like, the vlog has been a little repetitive over the last little bit. It's about to heat up. Again, I know you guys love egg laying and babies and egg cutting and all that stuff. So it is on the way. I'm just excited to get these all over next door and get them back onto food. We actually have a collection of colubrids that we're about to acquire. So we'll talk to you about that next week and take you guys along on the journey for sure. But as for now, tomorrow, we're gonna have a lot of up and down the stairs. Just popping downstairs really quick and saying hi to my guy, RJ. What's going on, buddy? Did you miss me? <laughs> I think he's ready to eat. You know, just like Bowser next door, the weather is starting to change a little bit, even though it's still really cold outside. Spring is coming and the animals are really turning on. And I think RJ is sitting here. That's the posture that he has when he wants to eat. If I came down with food right now, he'd just snap it up right here for sure. So regardless, just checking everything down here in the dungeon, making sure that everything is okay. Again, really nice to be back. And I'm gonna do the best I possibly can do, guys, to kind of switch the content up a little bit for you. I realize, again, over the winter months, it gets a little boring, a little repetitive. Now things are heating up, not to mention I have lots of travel coming up. So we should have some really good times over the next six or eight months. But I'll do the best I can possibly do to keep you guys entertained. And with all that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog, get a little bit of rest tonight because we have a busy few days ahead of us. Still kind of recovering from that crazy crazy eight, nine, 10 days, whatever it was with hardly any sleep. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day and I hope that you're happy that I'm back here at the Reptarium. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next few vlogs or whatever. I love reading your comments and I will absolutely listen to you guys as I always do. As for now, can you do me a couple favors? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Again, make that comment because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.